Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I am going to discuss features of JavaScript language. Before we learn to code in any language, we need to understand its features first. So let's get started. Features of JavaScript language. JavaScript is simple and easy to learn language. JavaScript is powerful, lightweight, client-side scripting language. JavaScript is high-level, interpreter-based, prototype or object-based scripting language or programming language. JavaScript is cross-platform or portable, case-sensitive, weakly or untyped, browser-independent, not fully secure scripting language. JavaScript is one of the standard scripting language. Let's discuss each of these features step by step in detail. JavaScript is a simple and easy to learn programming language. JavaScript programs or scripts contain English-like commands or instructions. Hence, easy to learn, easy to code, easy to understand, easy to modify, easy to debug and easy to test. JavaScript is a simplified version of Java programming language. If you compare the constructs of JavaScript and Java, they look quite similar. JavaScript is a powerful and popular language. JavaScript provides rich set of operators to perform operations on various types of data. For example, JavaScript provides arithmetic operators to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division operations on numbers. JavaScript provides logical operators to perform Boolean operations. JavaScript provides comparison operators to compare two data. It provides many more operators. JavaScript provides rich set of control statements to control the flow of execution of code. For example, JavaScript provides conditional statements. Using them, based on the result of condition, we can skip or execute set of instructions. JavaScript provides looping statements or iterative statements. Using them, we can execute some set of instructions repeatedly. JavaScript provides array construct to create list, tables, and perform various operations like searching, sorting, merging, etc. on them easily. JavaScript provides various built-in objects. They can be reused to get solutions to many tasks quickly. JavaScript provides DOM objects to control and add more behavior to the browser. JavaScript is considered as lightweight scripting language or programming language because JavaScript codes take very less memory footprint for execution. And JavaScript is a simple and small language. Hence, JavaScript is considered as lightweight language. JavaScript is a scripting language. We know that codes that are placed within another document for execution are generally called as scripts. Scripts depend on another file for their execution. They are not self-executable. As JavaScript codes are placed within HTML documents for execution, we can say JavaScript codes are called as scripts, not programs. Scripting languages are designed to extend capabilities or add behaviors to already built applications. As JavaScript is used to add behaviors to HTML elements, add more capabilities to the browsers and control browsers, we can say JavaScript is a scripting language. JavaScript is client-side scripting language. JavaScript codes are not executed on the server. Instead, they are executed on client machine by user browsers, also known as client softwares. Those are browsers. Browsers understand JavaScript. As JavaScript codes are executed on client side, not on the server side, we can say JavaScript is a client-side scripting language. JavaScript is an interpreted language. Most of the programming languages like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, their codes need to be compiled first for their execution. Whereas JavaScript codes need not be compiled because browsers interpret and execute JavaScript codes line by line on the fly. Hence, JavaScript is an interpreted language. But modern JavaScript code is compiled to an intermediate byte code first and then interpreted and executed by the JavaScript engine present in modern browsers. Hence, we can say modern JavaScript is compiled as well as interpreted language. JavaScript is a prototype or object-based language. It is not object-oriented. In object-oriented programming languages, objects are created by creating new instances of classes. Whereas, as JavaScript is a prototype-based language, in JavaScript, objects are created by creating new instances of prototypes 
instead of classes. As JavaScript is an object-based language, it has no object-oriented concepts like class, inheritance, polymorphism, dynamic binding, etc. But object-oriented concepts are simulated through the use of prototypes in JavaScript. JavaScript is a case-sensitive scripting language or programming language. JavaScript treats lower case letters and upper case letters separately or differently. If we create three identifiers, num, 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 then they are considered as three different identifiers because they might have same spelling, but they are defined differently using uppercase and lowercase letters that you can observe here. In JavaScript, lowercase letter A and uppercase letter A are completely different characters. While programming in JavaScript, anything need to be written in lowercase letters must and should be written in lowercase letters. And anything need to be written in uppercase letters must and should be written in uppercase letters. JavaScript is case sensitive, whereas HTML is not case sensitive language. You can write tags in uppercase or lowercase, no problem in HTML. But as JavaScript is case sensitive, it treats lowercase letters and uppercase letters differently. JavaScript is a weakly or untyped language. In JavaScript, while creating variables, constants or parameters, programmers need not to explicitly define their data type. JavaScript automatically figures out the data type based on the type of value stored in a variable, constant or a parameter. Languages in which data type need to be explicitly defined are known as strictly typed or strongly typed languages like C, C++, Java, C Sharp or strongly typed languages or strictly typed languages. JavaScript is browser independent. To execute JavaScript code, browsers need not to install any extra plugin. Today, almost all browsers have built-in JavaScript engine. To execute JavaScript codes, users just need to enable it in the browser settings. Browsers by default enable the JavaScript. If it is disabled, users just need to enable it to execute JavaScript codes. As JavaScript has become standard scripting language, today we have server-side JavaScript also. Server-side JavaScript codes are executed on the server side. Only the result of execution will be sent back to the client machine. JavaScript is not fully secure or safe language. As JavaScript codes get downloaded on client machine and then get executed, sometimes other malicious or harmful codes can also get downloaded with them. Hence, JavaScript is not fully secure language. But modern browsers execute JavaScript codes in a sandbox and check for malicious and harmful codes. Hence, modern JavaScript is considered as secure or safe language. JavaScript is a cross-platform or a portable language. That means we need not write separate JavaScript codes for different platforms. Without modifications, we can port the JavaScript code and execute it on browsers in different platforms. JavaScript is a high-level scripting language as JavaScript has English-like statements. JavaScript instructions or commands are going to be similar to English-like statements. And JavaScript is more programmer-friendly than machine-friendly. We can consider JavaScript as a high-level scripting language or a programming language. I hope you guys have understood all features of JavaScript. I suggest you to watch this video once again, understand each JavaScript feature carefully. If you have any doubts, please post comment. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.